So what I want to talk about now is how can you find the resultant of two vectors using say a formula. Again let's take a look at the same example. Here is my vector p, here is my vector q and I want to find the resultant. All right, And I am not going to use a graphical approach. Now before we do this law of cosines, I want to remind you about Pythagorean theorem. All of you know if you have a right triangle, which means one of the angle of the triangle is going to be 90 degree, it has two legs, let's say this is side A, this is side B and this is side C which is also known as hypotenuse and this hypotenuse square is equal to A square plus B square. You have learned this probably in middle school. And if I want to find this side, C, assuming the other two legs I know, it is going to be square root of A square plus, sorry, B square. This is a formula you have learned long time ago, the famous Pythagorean theorem. Now, when you deal with right triangle, life is easy. In fact, I always tell my student, you should get excited when you see a triangle because you see a right triangle, the only theorem there is the Pythagorean theorem, you can solve it. But now, if you look at this parallelogram or this two vectors, it's making a, a non 90 degree angle. It could be obtuse angle or it could be an acute angle, but it is not 90 degree. But you do know we can use the triangle law to solve this problem and effectively your resultant is going to be looking something like this. This is my resultant vector and if you look at it, you have three sides. This is your vector p, this is your vector q and this is your resultant. I'm going to redraw the triangle. So here is the triangle we have. Okay, here is the triangle. This is my vector p, this is my vector q, this is my vector r and I want to find out the vector r but I do not want to use a graphical approach. Now, if it is a Pythagorean triangle, you know how to do it. It is not a Pythagorean triangle. This angle is not 90 degree. So what we will do is use what we, what is known as law of cosines. What is law of cosines? Well, in a triangle, R square, in other words, this longest side is equal to the other two sides squared and added p square plus q square minus 2 p q. These are all magnitudes cosine theta and this theta being the angle between the other two sides. I want you to take a closer look at this formula. It is similar to Pythagorean. Instead of c square we have r square that's our resultant. a square plus b square we have instead p square plus q square. So it's similar to Pythagorean but then we have another term here involving the sides and the angle. Now if cosine 90, if this angle happens to be 90 degree, you all know cosine 90 is 0, this term drops out, it becomes right triangle. So law of cosine is more generic and you can imagine Pythagorean theorem as a, as a special case of this. This formula essentially is known as law of cosines. What this basically tells you is if you know two sides of a triangle and the angle between them, you can always find the third side. It's pretty much same as Pythagorean theorem. If you know two sides of this triangle, that is A and B, that means you know the length of that. And if you know this angle, you can find the third side. We never worry about the angle in Pythagorean because it is 90 degree. But since it is not 90 degree, it is accounted here. So law of cosine is very simple. Please make sure you make a mental note of it and remember this and once you know this formula, you can actually solve for any one of the third sides given the other two sides and an angle between them. So law of cosines is going to be a very useful tool in solving problems involving triangles.